Justin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. And today our match is Burton Albion against Aston Villa. Well, coming towards the end of the season, middle of the table, could be better, could have been a lot worse, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Maybe if you'd have looked at it at the start of the season, you'd have tipped them to, to finish in this kind of position, but, you know, they could still make a good fist of it if they have a, a late flurry and get some points on the table. side responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated although it looks a bit like that on our screens yeah he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support he can't do it all on his own the Aston Villa team for this game Alan Hutton starts with Neil Taylor as the full backs and three more, all attackers, to round off the team. One of the Premier League ever presents from its inception in 1992 until the most awful of seasons, 15, 16, and relegation, rock bottom. And somebody who has Villa in his heart, Alan, what did you make of it? Well, it's just been a, a tale of woe, hasn't it? It's been a disastrous few years, really. And so sad because it's a big club, as we know, and... They should be doing a lot better. And the referee for this match, Scott Duncan. And here we are, the start of the match. And like it's coming down now, it's going to add to the thrills. A few spills, possibly. Well, it normally does. Shots on here. Shot blocked here. Now that's a throw. Well, that's good support as they build this attack. Connor Hurihan. They've coped with it well defensively. Well, that has cost them, but only a corner. It could have been worse. Met it with his head. No chance with that one. Too high all the way. Tightly. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Thank you. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. shot well they've broken through here with a really good goal and the celebrations reflect that the supporters are going crazy it's a terrific moment for the team and that is a contender for goal of the season without question to find the left corner from that distance Attacking well here. Doing well to keep the ball. Tries to punch it away. Good play. Connor Huriha. Very good passing from this team. Just working away to try and find an opening. Good defending. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. We can see it 
another time, Alan, this vital match-leading goal. Well, he certainly struck it with an awful lot of power. And whether the keeper should have done in this part of the pitch. Good pass, getting it forward. Free kick given by the referee. And the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. Defender to it first. Oh, it could be dangerous. The last line of defense could happen. And they're passing so well out there. And here's the cross. They had a chance really to put that into a much more dangerous area. Has to go down as a poor cross. goes the cross and he heads it for goal what a fine save here comes the cross chooses to punch here the goalkeeper good technique Half time at 1 0. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Cope with it well defensively. The shot's on. Oh, this was a chance to wrap up the game. Wasn't it just? And uh, so often you see them live to regret that kind of miss. The things to come. Got a great understanding, this team. Just look at the passing. Gonna try one now. Just needed to settle on the ball before striking the shot. Change here. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. And in he goes with the tackle. Sometimes you see players on a good day and sometimes on a not so good day. Every, every time I see this lad play, it's a good day. Uh, and I'm not going to see him anymore because the manager's taking him off now. Yeah, but he's one of those buoyant personalities. Doesn't tend to get down too easily. That's an important trait in a forward. Tackle goes in. to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here they've opened them up here Aston Villa have got the goal here it was almost an air of well we expected this when the goal was celebrated nothing too extravagant I think they know they're the better side and they expect to win. No, I think they do. There's a certain swagger to their play. Uh, and in a self-belief, they know they're better and they're showing out on that pitch. In the next few moments. Well, he's threaded the path through neatly. Good defending. Hogan. Here's a chance to attack. Nicely played through ball.
Good pass, getting it forward. Crosses in, and he's in there with a header. As he reached it, he has with a diving header to score. Fabulous. Well, here's the goal for Aston Villa. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Well, full marks for the way he lost his marker there. Good movement in the box. For the goalkeeper. Good passing, shrewd passing. Referee blows Aston Villa, the winners today. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Good performance from him and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.